Hi and welcome to Little Bits Honey Bee's YouTube channel. I'm the Skinny Bee Man. Uh, today we're going to talk about storing drawed comb. Keep the wax moths and the small hive beetles out of it. There's a couple people's got their own ways. This is a couple ways I use. One is short term because it's still early, uh, you know, we're in early August and I still use some of this drone, uh, drawed comb. Or and I might want to uh, use uh, pull honey out of the, the um, brood chambers to keep them from getting honey bound. I may want to add that honey back to them later in the fall to get them ready for winter. So we'll talk about short term first. Short term, I just use a tote. Any tote will work. This particular tote has vent holes in it, so I don't. Uh, Particular care for that but it's just the one I had so I'm going to use Gorilla Tape and go over these vent holes so the wax moths can't get in because we're not going to put any kind of chemical in here to deter the pest on this short term I don't want don't want my bees to be exposed to it. Yeah, you get the gist of taping it up. I'll not do the rest of it. I'll do it later. But basically all you got to do is pull your frame out. Whether it's full of honey or just a drawed comb like this. Just a drawed comb here. This come out of a abscond of a small hives. Got really hot last month and some of the small ones absconded out. And it's got a little bit of hive beetle larva in it. I don't know that we can even see this or not. Probably not. Let me get my finger where I can see some. Right here's one. Right here by my thumb. Hopefully you can see them small high beetle larvae there. No big deal. What I do, I take these in the house and put them in the freezer for a couple hours. Uh, university studies show that at 20 degrees for four and a half hours will kill all the larvae for small hive beetles and wax moths and their eggs. Uh, five degrees, it's two hours. Well, most freezers is zero or below, so I put them in there for a couple hours. And then I'll just fill my tote up. But keep this in the house. You, can't, you don't want to keep this outside. These totes get too hot. I keep it in the basement, load it all up with my, my frames, put the lid on it, and then if I need drawed frames or I need honey in the fall to put back on the hives, I've got it uh, uh, on that. That's short term. I've had really good luck with it. Long term, let me move this over just a little bit. Zoom up just a little bit. Why does that look fuzzy? Long term, I'd be pulling them out later in the fall. And I use eight frame stuff, but I didn't want to dig all my eight frame out to do this. So I'm going to demonstrate it with five frame boxes. And you can use deep boxes, depending on whether you're storing uh, 
honey frames or brood frames. Uh, you just pick a bottom board that's sealed up, solid bottom board, and put a board in here or tape it up however you want to do it. Get it sealed good and tight. Then I put a two inch shim on the bottom board and use paramoth crystals. They're not mothballs, they're paramoth. Um, the active ingredient for paramoth starts with a P. That's all I know, I can't pronounce it. The active ingredient for mothballs starts with an M. You don't want that for your bees. It soaks into the wax, you can't get it out. This will not soak into the wax and uh, you can re it doesn't hurt your wax. Uh, regular mothballs will not work. Now you could do this different ways. You could pick a styrofoam bowl and set in the bottom and just put you about a half a cup in the bottom. I've got these little nylon mesh bags that work real good. I just put some about a half a cup in the crystals and lay it in the bottom of the um, on the bottom board. Now, if you want to get really crazy, I've never had any trouble with these mothballs in here about taping things up. I've, I've just never lost any comb. Then I would take whatever size box I'm going to use, deep or medium, set it on top of that. And then just stack, load your frames in there. Of course, you can stack these up just as high as you can reach. And then I do the same thing. When I, uh, I get as high as I can reach, I put another two inch shim on it and take one of those uh, bags like this and lay about a half a cup on top of the frames and it keeps this really well I've never had any I've never lost any comb doing it that way you can leave it set outside just like you would a hive it'll be just fine I'll come back to this box however many of them I got stacked up I might have two or three stacks of them high as I can reach I'll come there in January, and if there's any of this that hasn't evaporated, I'll pull all the paramoth off of it in January. So season don't usually start here till no oh, first second week in March. So it's got all of January, February, you got two months to air out, and um, never seems to affect the bees. It, it works really good. Got a few of them small high beetle larvae. Dropped off that frame into the bottom of that tote. That doesn't matter. I'm going to free uh, these frames. I'm going to do short term because I'm going to be using them before uh, too long probably. Add the boxes. Add, when I add a box on, I'll give them a couple frames to draw and a couple frames to starter strip to keep them uh, drawn. Um, that's kind of, and there's probably other ways I'm sure to, to you know if you had a walk in cooler it'd be great great to store frames and stuff in to keep it that way but I don't have that luxury um, but this has always worked well for me um, if you like the videos hit the subscribe button the bell next to it you get notified when we uh, make new videos and have a good day